August is almost upon us, with a fresh batch of movies, some of which return after impressing at the New Zealand International Film Festival. The first one we'll show you is not one of those films. The dream team of Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham get a well-earned spin-off in Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw. You think I'm stupid? Of course I think you're stupid. Can they keep up the flirtatious trash-talking for a whole feature? Who can say, but we can happily confirm the action travels to Samoa. Bertha's Avert Your Ears Now. Support the Girls was named one of Barack Obama's favorite films of 2018. The strategy is moving, you know, sort of away from boobs and into butts. Fear not, this is no comedy downer, but a comedy drama set in a sports bar and bear with me, restaurant called Double Whammies. Mindy Kaling writes and stars in this comedy drama set somewhere potentially even more offensive than a boob-oriented sports bar, a late-night talk show. Emma Thompson plays an acclaimed TV host with sliding ratings, Kaling, the new writer, trying to turn things around. You love me. No, I didn't say that. I, no. I mean, not in those words, but you... No, I didn't say it in any of those words. Watch me do. QT is back with his ninth film taking us back in time to 1969 Hollywood. Leonardo DiCaprio plays a fading star, Brad Pitt his stuntman, and Margot Robbie Sharon Tate. Yes, you probably know this is set at the time of the Manson family murders, but we don't know too much more, other than we cannot f***ing wait to see it. Legendary Aotearoa music icons Herbs get their documentary due. Director Teata Pakahi's loving portrait of the band had its world premiere at the New Zealand International Film Festival. Looking back at the storied career of Herbs and the social context of their music, it's an at times irreverent, definitely not stale tale you need to see. Blinded by the Light depicts the impact of The Boss on one British teen of Pakistani descent. Stay away from the girls! The film captures the moment in 1987 when his difficult life is changed by the music of Bruce Springsteen. I didn't know music could be like that. It turns out heart-rending songs about working-class life are universal as... An environmental documentary may sound like a bit of a chore, but 2040, also returning from the New Zealand International Film Festival, is a surprisingly optimistic conversation starter. By looking at solutions to the environmental problems we face, this is no soothsayer of doom and gloom, but an important addition to our conversations on the subject. What's your 2040? Just to repeat, not all of August's big releases come from the prestige festival circuit. This is especially true of Gerard Butler's third outing in the Has Fallen series. Yes, someone is trying to kill the president. Again. And only one man can stop it. Again. One small presidential assassination attempt for man. Oh sorry, we seem to have moved on to Apollo 11 a sellout New Zealand International Film Festival hit. Chronicling the mission to the moon with gorgeous archival footage, this is a joy to watch on the biggest screen you can find. Look forward to seeing you at the movies this month. Find times and tickets at flicks.co.nz.